Today we will try Axum for the first time. This is the first video of this kind. We will go into the details about Axum, the Hello World, how we can do it, and it is also a small surprise at the end. So watch it until the end. Let's get started. What is Axum? Axum is a web application framework, written in Rust of course, that focuses on ergonomics and modularity. We need Axum. We don't need Axum 0.6. I will use Axum 0.8.7. Tokyo and features macros, we'll see why we need this, and then also we want this to be multi-thread since the beginning. This is the import. Use Axum and we use routing get and router. We import these two things inside Axum. The Rust analyzer is complaining because we don't have the main function. Usually in Rust we have fn main. We add this attribute, which is basically borrowed by C sharp. We can type something super cool, async fn main. This is possible because we added this Tokyo macros. This one allows us to write this amazing asynchronous function for the main. This can be a web server, it can be anything which is asynchronous. This is why Tokyo is so powerful. The team of Tokyo built Axum. Let's build our application. Build our application. It will take <laughs> probably two minutes. We are more interested into, of course, uh, the syntax. Let up, uh, similar to express, uh, and then we have router new, and then we generate a route. We have a route with a path, a method, which is get, and then here we have this which is an asynchronous operation and it returns a future. Returns a future instead of blocking the current thread, because we don't know how long this will take. And this is a closure for now. This usually is used for parameters. In this case, we don't have any parameters. Now we can set a listener, Tokyo, net TCP listener. We are opening a web socket and we can do this in two different ways. One is with a local host. I prefer to use 0.0.0.3000 because in case I want to dockerize this application, I can just dockerize like this. And then, of course, we need to accept the connection. Tokyo net TCP listener bind is basically opening a socket on 3000. And this Axum serve listener very similar to express await unwrap makes the program to be to stay in idle to accept HTTP requests. Cargo run, running target here. To do this, localhost 3000, and we have this exciting hello world. And the idea here, it was more to understand a bit of the syntax, why we have this Tokyo main, why we are doing this, why we are using this TCP listener. I made also some CRUD APIs in Axum already, which is way more complicated than this. In this case, you can have, for example, different HTTP verbs. How much memory do you think that this program takes? And this is not optimized. To do this, we are in WSL. We can type htop 4 megabytes for a web server. In 2025, it's quite impressive and quite uh, cheap, I would say. I might actually do a video when I try to lower this as much as possible. It's using 1.6 gigabytes of RAM. This is what is allocated by Tokyo. This was a simple Hello World in Axum. I made other videos about Axum, some CRUD APIs. In the future, I'll publish more videos. If you're interested, just let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.